Let's go, man. Let's go. <laughs> man, we gotta go train. Man, I can't wait to get to the academy and choke your ass out, man. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm here with uh, my good friend Clark Gracie on uh, which which beach are we on? We're at a secret spot here, Wind and Sea Beach in La Jolla, but don't tell anybody where okay, it is, okay? Don't tell anyone about that. So I want to talk to you today about uh, kind of a movement we have at Savior called the Savior Lifestyle. Um, I personally try to follow ten kind of values and principles in my life, and I've put them up on our website for you all to see, which is www.saviorte.com. Just want to kind of talk to you about the principles and the values, or selfies as we call them. Um, and see how you would relate them to your jiu-jitsu lifestyle. I think it's really important to treat your body like remembering that your body is the only thing you'll ever have for the rest of your life, right? There's no, gonna, there's no way to replace it and you have to take care of it. So eating well is basically a reflection on how much is a part of how you respect yourself. You know? if you don't, I kind of see like if you don't put good things in your body, then it's kind of like you settle for the the cheaper gas to put in your car. You know, it's, like, yeah. you're not you're not really uh, like giving yourself the, the top of the line fuel that you could give yourself. Really, you know, so many people in life are, are afraid to take a risk, afraid to step out there and uh, really put it all out on the line. But I think jujitsu shows you whether you're you're stepping in the academy for the first time and you're challenging yourself, throwing on the gi, or you're stepping out for the finals of a world championship, you're, you're taking that risk, you're putting it on the line, you're willing to be in a position of failure. You're, you're willing to lose, you're willing to risk it all. You learn from those experiences, right? You come back stronger the next time. Put it, put it on the line, risk it, and see what you can make for yourself. You're also gonna learn into the number three, save your selfie which is uh, knowledge, right? You're gonna learn from all those experiences and uh, making yourself a better person each time. Each time you fail, you get up, you get up a little bit stronger. You think about your, your, your mistakes in, in your last experience and come back a better person. This is like a self-investment that you're doing, right? And whether you're doing that through Jiu-Jitsu or anything else, it's, uh, it's priceless. One thing I really believe in is you have to always be moving forward always becoming a better person, always improving yourself, whether it's in your sport or mentally, physically, philosophically, as a person just advancing, you know, and I think uh, Jiu-Jitsu is a good example of that. You're always trying to get better, you know, and, and it's just a basic philosophy of life. What you learn in Jiu-Jitsu, the, the, the philosophy you learn, you apply that in life and you're always walking forward. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu was re really created to enhance someone's life, to make your life better. And there are things that can make you a little bit, uh, take you off of your goal. I think we need to really make sure that we don't put things in our body that could help us now, but in the long run become a problem to our health. And this for me would be basically walking backwards. My dad used to always tell me when I'm training, trust your instincts. You know, if, if you're, if, if you feel that that move is the right thing to do at that time or you need to defend against a certain move, you know, trust your instincts because probably what you, what you feel is coming is really what's going to happen. So I think uh, believing in yourself and, uh, and having yourself as, as the number one decision maker for your life is very important. One of the best things I love about teaching Jiu Jitsu is uh, be able to give back to the community and, and see my jiu-jitsu techniques or the jiu-jitsu that I've learned be passed on to next generations, teaching the kids or teaching friends of mine and uh, seeing them be able to benefit the way I did from jiu-jitsu and, and the people around me, how, how much like some people are involved with the wrong crowd, the wrong, the wrong things in life, but jiu-jitsu can help you get out of that and refocus yourself, create better values and uh, just have a better life overall. I think in Jiu Jitsu, you know, Ali, it's really important to go with the flow and not always like try and arm wrestle every movement that comes your way. Sometimes you need to accept the move that's coming towards you and go with it. And sometimes in that 
the exit of that movement, you can come out on top. You know, and uh, some people will apply the same philosophy to life. You know, you might be put in a difficult situation in life, but you kind of just accept it, and sometimes you never even know it could be a blessing in disguise. You know? You know, I heard stories about my dad's past and my family being undefeated and having just this, such a rich martial art history. I think it put a lot of pressure on me, my brother, and my cousins to basically be successful in, in our jiu-jitsu careers, whether it's a fighter, being a fighter, or, uh, or as a teacher, whatever it may be. And uh, I think one, one thing someone told me one time to take that helped me out a lot was don't go compete for your family. Don't go compete for for the, your team or everyone around you. Just compete for you, you know. And then it made me feel like so much lighter, so much, so much. Uh, the pressure wasn't on me so much. I just thought, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for me. And when I step on that mat, it's just me versus that guy. He's wearing a gi or he's not, you know. And I can do to him whatever I do in the academy to me is one of the most important ones of all is being able to really get the most out of your time on this planet you know and just realize every every possibility that you could you could do and, and not restrict yourself to to anybody's uh, expectation that you couldn't make it you know? but um, really doing everything you can in life and, and enjoying yourself to the max you know, in, in your life, whether you're he here to help other people, whatever you're meant to do, try and fulfill that and uh, not waste time. I like in the end it says, time waits for no man. And it's really true. I mean, you can waste a lot of time if you just sit around, but what can you do to actually make a difference on this planet? What can you do? What will you be remembered for? What do you want to be remembered for? For me, is uh, is huge. You know, I, mean, I want to make uh, a difference in this world. I want people to remember me for good things, yeah. and uh, I'm gonna do my best to make that happen. You know, and I also want to enjoy my life to the best I can. Ha, ha, ha.